here we go guys the Pauly Shore John Heater crossover event that we have all been waiting for poor Oreo the Treasure Island Adventure What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. I'm Ken here today for another Blu-ray hunting video. That is right. It is not Tuesday though. It is Wednesday. So this is a Wednesday Blues Day hunt video, I guess is what you would call it. I am a day late this week. I dropped my physical media report on Tuesday. I'm doing my Blu-ray hunt today. I'm a little bit behind because I had to work on Monday, but no big deal because there's not a whole ton of stuff that's coming out uh, this week as far as new physical media. So it'll probably be a lot of just uh, screwing around going into these scores and just maybe finding some deals, maybe picking up some stuff, some past releases that I haven't got around to picking up yet. Um, I know that one title that might be in Best Buy this week is the RLJE title, The Mortuary Collection. Um, we're also going to hit up a Barnes & Nobles today to see if they have that Memories of a Murder, that new Bong Jun ho filmed on the Criterion Collection. Also, Furies comes out today as well. And I just think it's time to go back to Barnes & Noble and, and, and look at all the Criterions, you know, and maybe start scouting my options for this July when they had their big sale. Um, so yeah, guys, we're going to go to Target and Walmart as well, see what they got. Should be a fun day. I'm going to try to keep it as entertaining as possible, but yes, not a whole lot going out this week. So let's go into Best Buy and see what they have for us. All right, guys, on our way into Best Buy, and man, it would just be awesome if they had that Mortal Kombat double pack steel book, but uh, I really doubt that they will, but hopefully they have something cool to pick up. Let's see what they got. Guys, they do still have plenty of these Wonder Woman steel books, so it doesn't look like I'll be missing out on that anytime soon. I am seeing the Mortuary Collection for $19.99 right here. Uh, that is a pretty cool looking slipcover. It is embossed, but $19.99. I was actually hoping that would be a little bit cheaper, especially considering it's from RLJE. Um, 400 bullets. I, I don't think that that's new. I feel like I've seen that before, but uh, yeah, that may be new. Um, they do have the Reckoning this week. I know I was wanting this a couple of weeks ago. That's only $12.99, so that... That might be worth a pick up today, I don't know. Um, but yeah, pretty much all I'm seeing as far as new releases. Some of these other titles I got over here, I'm seeing this Alita Battle Angel 4K for $13.99. I actually might get this. I've heard good things about it. Another movie that I watched on, I think, Amazon Prime the other night was Unhinged. I really enjoyed this movie. For only $11.99, that might be worth a pickup, especially considering it has a slipcover. Got the Jay and Silent Bob reboot for only $7.99 right here. Office Space. I do like this cover on this, but I already have a, a version of Office Space on Blu-ray. Dead Men Tell No Tales, the two new Pirates movies, $13.99, $8.99. Detective Pikachu. We got Last of the Mohicans over here for $10. I have been wanting to get this heavy metal Blu-ray. I remember this from when I was a kid. Only $7.99. Is it time to pull the trigger on that one? I don't know. All right, guys. So just got out of the Best Buy. And I was excited that they at least had the one new release that I thought that they would this week. The Mortuary Collection was in there. But that was a little bit too pricey for me for a blind buy. 20 bucks for an RLJE title. I will pay the $13 to blind buy one of those, but I don't know about 20. I don't know enough about the movie, and I'm sure it will be marked down in the coming weeks. They had the Reckoning as well for 13, which I wanted to get a few weeks ago, uh, but the, uh, the the moment has kind of passed for me on that film. Uh, so, uh, and again, I haven't heard great things about it either. So, um, yeah, I just kind of browsed around in there and found some good deals. Actually, a good deal on a 4K. Uh, that I actually heard good things about from Martinez Joe when we did our live stream together. I got Alita Battle Angel on 4K, and this also has the 3D Blu-ray, the 4K Ultra HD, the Blu-ray, and the digital code. So all 
four of these formats in one, and this was only 14 bucks. And this slipcover is really awesome. It's in great condition. So yeah, I couldn't pass this up. I just went ahead and grabbed this. And I remember enjoying this movie quite a bit when I saw it in theaters back in 2019. So yeah, it's been two years since I've seen it. So I am excited to check it out, to give it a watch in 4K and see if the hype um, and see if it's actually worth all the hype. So hopefully it is, and I'm sure it is based on uh, uh, Martinez Joe's recommendation. So yeah, excited to watch this one soon. And the other one that I got uh, was a movie that I watched on Amazon Prime the other night. I think it was Amazon. It's either Amazon Prime or Hulu, but I think it was Prime. I watched Unhinged uh, with Rus Russell Crowe. With Russell Crowe. Um, and yeah, I thought this movie was awesome. Like, I really enjoyed this movie. Not a great film or anything, but it's just super fun with a really good uh, villain performance by Russell Crowe in this movie. And yeah, it just gave me that kind of old school, like, slasher feels because that's essentially what he is in this movie. And uh, yeah, kind of shades of falling down with Michael Douglas mixed with like slasher horror elements. So I really enjoyed this film quite a bit. And yeah, this movie has been like 11 or $12 in Best Buy the past few weeks. But um, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I don't know if I'll watch it anytime soon because I just watched it and it is on Amazon Prime for free. And I recommend that you guys check it out. But since I am a fan of physical media and I love supporting physical media, I thought I would go ahead and purchase this for only 12 bucks. An awesome slipcover as well. So, yeah, glad to have this one in the collection because I thought this movie was great. So, um, all right, guys, with that, we are going to go ahead and head on to the Barnes & Noble, and then we'll go to Target and Walmart to wrap up this video. Woohoo! All right, guys, we are back at the legendary Barnes & Noble's books. It's been about a month since we've been here, so let's see what they got for us in terms of new criterions, guys. Alright everybody, so just got out of the Barnes and Noble and I was happy that they had both of those new Criterion Collection titles in there. They have Memories of a Murder, the new Bong Joon-ho film, which I really like the cover on that one with all the blades of grass. Um, but to be honest, even at 20% off of 40 bucks, that's still $32 in Barnes and Noble. If I want to pick the movie up now and I don't want to wait until the sale in July, I would go on Amazon because right now on Amazon it is 28 bucks. So that's a full $4 cheaper than it would be, um, in Barnes and Nobles right now. And they also had that Fury set, uh, which was a big box set criterion release that actually looked really nice. Um, and I didn't know it was, I didn't realize it was a big box set. So it was cool. I got to actually see both of those releases in person. Other than that, they just had some cool classic movies and stuff in there that I showed off a little bit. So, um, yeah, guys, it was cool getting to check out at least some more new releases for the week. That's kind of why I went to Barnes and Nobles today. So, uh, let's go ahead and head to Target and see what they got in store for us. Oh yeah, it's Target time, guys. Let's see what Target doesn't have today. Probably just a bunch of Disney titles. Let's do it. All right, guys, we got Alita Battle Angel on Blu-ray for $14.99, so a full dollar more over here for just the Blu-ray. But John Wick Chapter 3 on 4K is only 13 bucks, so good price for that. If the mule had a slipcover, I might consider picking this up for $17.59. Got a nice anime section over here with some slipcovers for $14.99, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away. Do I finally pull the trigger on an anime film? Maybe. 
Yep, nothing new today, guys. It's Wonder Woman, Barb and Star, Soul, all the same stuff. Yep, the same stuff we've been seeing week after week here at Target. They do have Ghostbusters 1 and 2 for 10 bucks. I have the Ghostbusters 1 steel book, but I don't own the sequel. Is owning the sequel worth $10? This is a cool new set that I haven't seen before. They have Field of Dreams, Sea Biscuit, Friday Night Lights, and Cinderella Man all in a Blu-ray pack for 20 bucks. I have not seen that before. I think that might be exclusive to Target. We also have the Mummy Trilogy on Blu-ray for 10 bucks. I might have to get this, but I did kind of want it in 4K. We got a Will Ferrell collection for $7.50. Eddie Murphy collection for $7.59. Not bad deals for those. They got the Godfather Trilogy, the three film collection for eight bucks. So not a bad price if you want to own those on DVD. Um, the Hobbit Trilogy for $13.50. Yeah, some pretty good deals here today, you guys. Some pretty good deals. All right, let's go ahead and head to Walmart. Red doggies, we are here at the Walmart. Let's see what he got here this Walmart here today. They got any more of those uh, popular TV show rip-off Blu-rays and DVDs? Can't wait to check it out. Do it. All right, guys. So more of the same titles from the past couple of weeks. Shadow in the Cloud, Willie's Wonderland. Um, this is the only new thing that I'm seeing. It's a Frank Grillo film called Body Brokers on DVD. Haven't really heard much about that one, but... Uh, other than that, maybe the penthouse is new, but I feel like I've seen that one before. Then we got Ancient Aliens Season 13. That might be new. Again, they have these movies that will inspire you section. Lots of double packs. They do have fried green tomatoes. I want that on a Blu-ray, but I do want that in my collection. I don't know if I'm willing to pay six bucks for it. The Don Knotts Five Movie Collection. Rock Hudson, six movie collection, Steel Magnolias, Titanic is down here, Officer and a Gentleman, La La Land, Hot and Spicy, you got Romeo and Juliet, Moulin Rouge in there, Synchronic, which just dropped on Netflix this weekend, that's $14.96, so that dropped in price, but I would want the slipcover for that. A couple new titles that I'm seeing, I don't think I've seen this one before, but you got Hero Dog, the Journey Home. That's actually a really nice slipcover. <laughs> really nice slipcover. We also have a Death Ranch, which is a really cool cover on this one as well. I'm not really sure what the what the hell this is. That's a nice slipcover though. I like that. I like that slipcover. Got this real like I don't know 70s vibe to it. I don't know. I have to look that one up. We also got the summoning. I believe the summoning is new. Conjure the dead, evil will rise. It's gotta be better than Bride of Scarecrow. Here we go guys, the Pauly Shore John Heater crossover event that we have all been waiting for. Poor Oreo, the Treasure Island adventure. I'm sure that this lives up to every ounce of hype. Mostly looking like the same stuff we saw last week. The sneak over is still here, guys. Um, looking for Andrew. That might be new. Right before your eyes. I don't know if I've seen that before. Conquest, I'm not sure I've seen before. Again, though, these guys, these these titles here at, um, at Walmart are just so forgettable that who knows. All right, guys. Killer, <laughs> killer karaoke. Jesus Christ. What is this? Sing for your life. Oh my god, yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Cool cover on it though, I do like the cover. The Wrong Path, I might not have seen The Wrong Path. Again, guys, it's just, it's so hard to tell with these Walmart titles. <laughs> There's just so many of them, and they just, I feel like they escape my brain as soon as I read them out loud to you guys. All right, so it looks like we have more of these vintage art, pop art, collectible covers for their DVDs. 
which all look pretty cool. You got The Jerk with Steve Martin. We got Smokey and the Bandit. To Kill a Mockingbird. We're when I actually have this one, so they've, they've had some of these that came out last year, but a lot of these are new. American Graffiti, How to Frame a Fig, King Kong vs. Godzilla. That's a cool one right there. I almost want to get that one. You got Midway, MacArthur, let's see, the Glenn Miller story. We got another Psycho cover. I've already got way too many editions of Psycho. Mikhail's Navy, Harvey, Hellfighters. I think we saw those last week, but you got a cool one for Spartacus right there. Freaking awesome. Yeah, so that, that's cool. Lots of cool DVDs. If you still collect DVDs, these are really cool covers. Definitely recommend getting to Walmart, see if yours has them. A lot of good deals on DVDs here at uh, Walmart, guys. Got this Under the Silver Lake A24 film for five bucks. So all these are five bucks right here. Walmart is the king of the DVD. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, guys, so just got out of Walmart. And, uh, you know, I was actually pleasantly surprised. Again, Walmart never ceases to deliver on these weird obscure uh titles that they come out with week to week it seems like every single week we go in there there's like 10 new dvds and blu-rays that uh, i've never heard of before so good on walmart they're they're probably all crap but good on them for having some interesting looking new titles to talk about every single week and also another thing that they had in there were these really cool pop art dvd covers that i actually got one of i got the king kong versus godzilla one because i just really like this cover um so yeah tons of these new exclusive slip covers so go check out your local walmart and see if you got any of those they had some for like rear window psycho um a lot of different titles how to kill a mockingbird tons of classic films uh with these new dvd slipcovers and i saw a few of them last week when we went in stores but they had the full selection um in this walmart this week so yeah this is a really cool cover that, that you know i bought you know why not and you open it up and it has just the regular one so this had this had a steel book at uh fye for like 15 bucks and i wanted to get that and then last week when i went in there they didn't have it so um, sure, I'll own this film. I'll watch it at some point. Yeah, we done got the the more uh, <laughs> updated version a couple of weeks ago on HBO Max, but it's always cool to go back and see where it all began. So I'll check this one out at some point. So with that, guys, overall, I'd say it was a pretty good trip considering there just wasn't a lot that came out this week. I did get two cool pickups at Best Buy, and sometimes it's just nice to have an off week, and then you get to kind of backtrack and, and, and look at some sales and pick up some titles that you might not otherwise do because you're too busy focusing on the new stuff that came out. So that was really cool. We got to go to Barnes and Nobles and uh, see those two Criterion editions. Overall, I'd say it was a pretty good week considering just not a lot came out. So I appreciate everybody watching this video here today. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those bell notifications for all future videos. And we'll see you next time.